Hey, this is Rake with two quick tips. If you're ever making an external hack, you'll notice when you're trying to use open process to get a handle to the game that you will require administrator privileges. And by default, Visual Studio does not run as administrator. And you can't be sure that your users are going to right click the, the executable and run it as administrator. So to alleviate these two problems, I'm going to show you number one, how to force Visual Studio to run as administrator, regardless of if you're opening the icon on your desktop or if you're opening a solution folder, a solution file, or if you are running your project uh, from the Visual Studio debugger itself. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how to utilize a manifest file in Visual Studio to make your apps ask for administrator privileges when they're run by your end user. And so first thing everyone knows this, I'm sure, is to right click your Visual Studio application shortcut and check run as administrator. Now, when you open a solution file, it will not run as administrator. So what you need to do is uh, open file location on your shortcut down here to the development environment executable and click properties. I believe on Windows 7, you will have a menu that's going to show you uh, to uh, run as administrator checkbox, uh, maybe in the advanced tab or in a compatibility tab, but in Windows 8 and 10, uh, that's disappeared for whatever reason. So instead, you're going to right click it and do troubleshoot compatibility. And you're going to say troubleshoot the program, and you're going to click this program requires additional permissions. You're going to test it. You're going to see administrator mode in parentheses so you know it worked. And you're going to click next, and you're going to save those settings. So now, regardless of how we open a file, it's going to run correctly. Now, I've made a quick dummy application here um, to just to illustrate the point. And if uh, we have a salt cube here, here's the, the process. And if we run it, it says open process failed. And the reason for that is because we haven't used a manifest file yet. So to do that, let's open up this solution, which you'll see is running as administrator, uh, which we just fixed. And this is just a really basic proof of concept. Uh, we have a get process ID function that uses create tool help snapshot to to find your process get the process id and then you call open process with the access right of process all access and so in order to get this to run as administrator mode uh, for the end user you are going to right click your project click properties and go to linker and then manifest file and then you'll see right here uac execution level Click this and do require administrator. Click apply, click OK. Uh, we can compile the application, and now we should see uh, that little icon, the little uh, UAC icon on top of the icon. And now when we run it, it's going to say open process passed. So just two quick tips I want to share with you. Real quick, I just want to plug two of my friends here on YouTube. First, we have OneShot, who's been making a bunch of nice tutorials recently on Counter-Strike Go, covering a ton of stuff that people are always asking me for, and I'm just not a Counter-Strike Go guy, uh, but he is, and he's got a really a, a lot of nice content, uh, you know, with voice and everything. And then second, we have uh, Cheat the Game, Chris Fate. This guy is just, he's a beast. He's got more tutorials than you have time to watch. And, you know, if you're getting into Cheat Engine, he's the person uh, I really think you should you should watch him. Uh, he goes over everything. The videos are long, but, you know, he really packs in a ton of information, and he's doing a lot of, of newer games as well. And so I'm going to link those two guys down in the description, so please check them out. That's it for me. Peace.